Oh, good morning, dudes and dudettes. Sorry about no video on Monday. We... I was busy. Uh, I got no excuse. I just did, I put it off. But guys, we have done a bit of work off camera. Well, not a bit of work. Well, a bit of work. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we updated the mod pack. Now, it's not the latest version right now, but we have cactus that's too tall and sugar cane that's too tall. I promise it in places here. It's really weird and kind of cool looking like... Oh, it's really, it's really, it's really big. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and make a jetpack here real quick because I need to show you guys how fantastic they are. Okay, so I believe, <laughs> I believe we need a little bit of leather. What is the best way? Do I have any more of those? No. Do I have any of those? No. I've got one... I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I didn't actually show you guys the inside. So yeah, I've done a little bit of work off camera decorating the inside of this house. Yes, we even come upstairs. This is our enchanting setup now. We have a cool little lounge area where we can chill. We got a nice light. We can turn it off, turn it on. We got some extra storage up here. This is just for decoration. We even got a clock. And then for my bedroom, it's looking pretty schnazzy. We got some more storage. Uh, yeah, uh, I like it a lot. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look so barren in here anymore. This probably took me, I don't know, a couple hours to do. I was just, you know, putzing around, having a good time. I didn't really do anything downstairs, but check it out. This is our TV. We got cactus. We like cactus here. We got cactus. We have these cool speakers, and then I put them up on these item shelves, and they kind of look like little tweeters. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then over here is the kitchen. Finally put a sink in. It's beautiful. We have a little toaster. We got a butcher knife here that goes. We got a different kind of knife, and then a different kind of knife. And then we have an item frame with that. I wanted it to look kind of like a chopping block, but I couldn't really get it to look that good. Uh, pressure plate can't go in the same block as a tool rack so we had to use an entity uh and then i also have this oven here with all these items on it and we got our coffee slash brewing stand and then a spice rack for that and then we have this fruit basket up here it's so cool because we have all these different fruits in it and i love it a lot and then we have our table with our cactus on the wall oh yes it's so good and over here we just got some extra storage for when we need it it's pretty but yeah let's go ahead and get a jetpack created here uh, we're going to need this guy, a very important jetpack. Beautiful. Uh, so we're going to need to create a few of these guys. That probably was too many. We don't need a whole lot of them. We didn't need three of those either. Well, we're in it to win it. All right, so here we go. Wooden jetpack. Let's go ahead, and I do have a way to charge this thing. Ooh, thunderstorm. We can actually sleep during this, which is good. Over here. So we do have a charging station. This has been full. I've been processing the gold and slime honeycombs that we have. By the way, we'll talk more about that later, but we're going to be changing that up again. Uh, but let's go ahead and throw our jetpack in here. Ooh, really quick. And yes, uh, there we go. If you're wondering why that's like that, we have the cosmetic armor. Um, but, oh, wait. Yeah, here is the speed of the wooden jetpack. Actually, pretty good speed. The only thing is we go through that power very quickly. So I want to go ahead and upgrade it to the next tier, and then probably the tier after that as well. Um, so yeah, if we hit uses here, we can see that the stone jetpack is next. Uh, whoops, forgot to craft these guys up. I think six. I think we only need five of those, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have an extra. That's okay. All right, so here we go. Stone jetpack. Let's go get it charged because we're cool. <clears throat> All right, fully charged here. Amazing. So this has 100,000 uh, FE that we have. And as you can see, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But I'd like to go ahead and upgrade it to the next tier, if possible. Um, cause don't get me wrong, like, this, is, this is pretty quick and gnarly, but we, we need a little bit more power, you know what I mean? More power, baby. So uses, we're just gonna go to silver, we can get rid of that one now. And how much silver do I actually have? Let's have a gander. Okay, so we might have enough, you might be wondering why I have the cells. I did make a test one and then somehow lost it because I just wanted to see what it was like. Uh, yeah, totally wasn't, you know, another recording that I'm redoing. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, you can cry for me. It's okay. All right, so this should... Oh, we have another one as well? Dang. 
Okay, so silver jetpack. This is where I wanted to stop because I think this has, yeah, 1.2 million uh, FE that can hold. Man, it's getting spoopy. All right, so this is going to take all of the power, but it's not going to be full. But this really is, like, I don't think we need much more fast than this. The only thing about, the only benefit of upgrading would be the power. Because, like, we can go to silver, or no, uh, steel after this. This holds 12 million, but it's really quick. And then there's diamond after that. Um, but, yes, as you can see, this is plenty fast. We might even need to turn down the throttle. Um but yeah, very cool. And then I want to show you guys something else I did off camera that was totally recorded. And... See, I didn't like forget to record it. I just didn't open OBS, and I did hit the record button. It just wasn't open. But yes, I've upgraded all of the farmland to the Supremium. Uh, it's really simple once you uh, start upgrading the farmland. Uh, but yeah, we've been you know just having a good time doing that. Uh, and then I also have a Master Infusion Crystal that I'll, I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so if we check this out, yeah, Master Infusion Crystal, really simple, like, this is surprisingly cheap. We only needed, like, six of the Supremium Essence, which is really crazy to think about. But yeah, we have so much of the Inferium Essence. You might be wondering how we got all of it so quickly, and all I can say is, do I have it in my inventory? Nope, it's not here. Um, it is here, the watering can. This thing is ridiculous overpowered, like, I love it to death. I highly recommend it to anyone who's playing this pack and wants to use uh, Mystical Agriculture. You get yourself a watering can. Like, it starts like this. Recipe is really, really cheap. Just iron bone meal in a bowl, and then you can just upgrade it from here. And each tier is pretty much the same for upgrading it. Um, so we've, we only have, like, one tier to go. I think it'd be cool to do that with you guys. Let's upgrade it to the final tier. Do 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 um let us see yes we need uh, this guy oh we're out of iron son of a nutcracker how do we do that okay so we got the four here uh let's go ahead and we will do this one two three four beautiful that was the exact amount that we needed and yeah we need some more of this <gasps> we're out of essence what Wait, holding. Hey, hang on. Yes, perfect. Exactly what we needed, because we can turn that back. Beautiful. And then we grab this guy. Uses. Bam. Jetpack. Supremium watering cans. I'll go show you guys how powerful this thing actually is. Okay, so we're here. And the cool thing is this is hitting the entire field. If we go to this corner, we're still hitting all of it. So you could like just go AFK here, put a weight on the, the mouse, and just carry on. And so that's pretty much what I did with the other watering can, uh, is I just simply did this. And I've also been working on putting some growth accelerators. I want to put some more under here because this essence allows us to do three... Three Inferium Essence per time it's harvested. So that really increases the production that we have. It's fantastic. I recommend it to everyone. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the meat and potatoes. Like we need we need some, some seeds to make. So we got to start automating some stuff. Okay, so you guys might have seen this bee over here. I'm thinking about trying this out, you know, getting a radioactive bee that'll give us some uranium. Um, but I'd also like to try some mystical agriculture as well, because we got to, uh, you know, kind of process this a little bit to get some uranium, which is okay. Uh, we don't have to really worry too much about that. Like, it's pretty easy. We got the iron bee. We, we can make a Cree bee. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make both me methods today. Um, so, yeah, we need some uranium seeds. And these are going to require tier four. Oh, man. Okay. Um, yep, we could do that. Beautiful. We have all of that. Let's go ahead and get this stuff smelted. What do you come and do? We smelt you. Yeah, that ain't it. Perfect. Okay. And then just some prosperity seeds. Prosperity seeds. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got everything here. Let's go ahead, put these in all the right places, and then we just touch it. Okay. 
All right, so we got ourselves some uranium seeds. Beautiful. We're not even going to worry about up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start to clear out the next spot. So I want one, two, three. And on the fourth one, we will go ahead and build this here. So this is one, two, three. We're going to go out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. All right. So we can make this real easy by getting our cool hammer. Alrighty, so I have brought over some farmland. Kind of weird that we can put that in our inventory. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Okay, and so then uh, this is where I'm going to... Don't to self, don't do that. My brain forgot it was farmland for a second. Okay, so we have our uranium seeds there, uh, which is good. So... Yeah, we can take this guy and start... Oh my gosh, I forgot that was a thing. But as you can see, this thing is really growing a lot quicker because we're doing that. And the cool thing is because we're going to be right-clicking, like it'll automatically harvest. Um, and so, can we put this in our offhand? Oh, we can. So if I do this and I have a tool in my hand that's magnetic, it will automatically put it into our inventory. And we just got a second uranium seed. So now I can go like this. And we can just let these grow, and I can fill up this whole field no time at all. It's going to be great. Okay, so I have finished filling this field up, and I kid you not, guys. Uh, I left you guys, what's well, 5 5.02 p.m.? It's currently 5.04 p.m., so it literally took me two minutes to fill up this entire field here. And we have gotten quite a bit of uranium essence from it so yeah it this is working very very good so far so now we got to go ahead and set up another one of these guys um so i will do that off camera if you guys don't know how this is set up it's pretty simple just just a mechanical bearing that's getting moved around uh you know stationary control wait what why did it do that stationary contraption oh that's because it's fixed aided okay but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and set one up over here and we'll be good to go Okay, so we got this thing set up finally. Uh, it's going to spin the opposite direction just because the way it is. But I did it so uh, it wouldn't mess with any of the um, <laughs> the the blue guys. Uh, what is it called? The tier 4 soil. Yeah, that stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make sure everything's grown here. And we can start this fun process of getting uranium. Yeah, I think it's working pretty good. Let's have a look in here. Yep, we are getting our uranium essence. Beautiful. Um, so for every eight, we get two. Uh, that's pretty good. But we're going to go ahead and try the bee method. Um, now, I do want that as well, just because, you know, we don't have to rely on bees. Uh, it will, like, it'll be pretty much automated as much as we want to make it automated. Which is kind of interesting to say out loud now in my head. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead. I do have some TNT made up already. Uh, and I do know where there are some bees. You know, they're flying around. Hanging out, having a good time. I might steal one from here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try this out. So I have a normal bee here. If I right click it. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, we made him a creeper bee. Come here. We got him back. Good, we got a creepy. All righty, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and get another a couple more bee cages. Uh, I've only got a few of them. Perfect. Means we can go ahead and steal an iron bee if they're out and about. Out. Not really out and about. Come on, bee. Oh, behave. Okay, there we go. Target acquired. We've got uh, multiple bogeys in the area. We need to grab some dirt. Why did we need dirt? I have no idea, but we got it. Okay, beautiful. So now we have an iron bee. We have our Cree bee. We're going to go ahead and pick these bees out of here. Boop, boop. All right, beautiful. What are you? Okay, so you're here. You're here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Those guys have been in there for a long time. They're probably happy they out now. Let's get some flowers. Let's see. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Uh, just need two. Perfect. We got some oxide daisies. Beautiful. Like you. Oh. Okay. So here we go. Creepy iron bee. 
Give for you. Give for you. Radioactive. Radioactive. Bam. So we got radioactive B. Amazing. Um, yes. Okay. So we need... Oh. Where's that dirt? That didn't come in handy earlier. Okay. So those guys need to cool down and... You know, get ready for round two. Um, and then we need to go ahead and set up a temporary spot for our radioactive bees. Okay, so temporary cage has been created here. We can go ahead and release our bee. Perfect. Now, he's going to grow up, go into this advanced oak beehive. Look at that. He's already uh, having fun with the uh, uranium block. I mean, um, I mean, it's uranium. I don't think that's a good idea, buddy. It's kind of radioactive, but you are a radioactive bee, so maybe. Maybe it's okay. All right, guys, so sorry if there wasn't any audio in the last clip. I uh, just realized that uh, there's... I didn't have it set right, so sorry about that if you guys didn't hear any sound. But anyway, we're good. We uh, It's been a while. We have uh, some radioactive combs that we need to go ahead and process. Uh, so very cool. We're going to go ahead and get some uranium grip, but it does have a 20% chance. Uh, now, I've been gone for probably about five hours, and I didn't get, get to AFK the whole time because it did disconnect me from the server. But this had been running for quite a bit, as you could see. So let's go ahead and have a look. And okay. So, um, the cool thing is, is that we'll be able to compare these two pretty accurately to see which one actually gives us the most. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab another chest here real quick. Okay, so the final numbers are in. Now, I want you, to guys, I want you guys to know that, for one, the, the B... Um, so the B was a, a, a baby for probably about five minutes, right? But then it was only one. So it's like at one-fifth of the... Um, the efficiency and then also with the seeds like we can make it triple the efficiency so we have one third of the efficiency and one, uh, one fifth of the efficiency so we're going to really compare these and just like again there's variables you know how much the bees produce stuff like that uh, but this should be a pretty um comparable you know method of doing this so we're going to go ahead and see here um oops i did not do that right I'm sorry if you were waiting for this good thing to happen. So, here's what we got. Um, so, here's the B. Here's the seeds. Um, so, if we multiply 38 by 5, uh, we'd have 190. Uh, if we multiply 36 by 3, we get 108. So, the bees are going to be much better. The bees are going to be better. <laughs> uh, so we're still going to have both going just because, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, like I'll, I'll go ahead and upgrade all that to the Supremium uh, farmland eventually. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely more bang for your buck. I feel like they're easier to get into because uh, it's just TNT, a Cree bee, or a TNT, a normal bee, and then combining with an iron bee. The iron bees are not difficult to get. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend if you're going to go for, you know, automating uranium, go for the bees, because uh, those definitely are great. I was really hoping Mystical Agriculture could come back and win this, uh, though I do believe if you found a way to automate the watering can with the seeds, like that would be far superior. Um, but yeah, uh, bees win this round. We'll see about others, but I have a feeling it's going to be similar. And then we also did have tier fours, so it does take down this a little bit technically. Um, and then we also can have different upgrades. So like the bees are way more efficient now that I think about it. Cause like you can have different upgrades in each of the hives, um, that will, pr uh, affect the amount that they're able to produce, which is crazy to think about like here, like upgrade slots. So yeah, but that is going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did make sure to hit that like button and as always guys, don't forget to subscribe, but this has been super turtle and I will see you all in the next video where we take on bigger reactors.